In 1973, Aerosmith's Dream On had a mediocre debut, but it ended up saving the iconic rock band from fading into obscurity. Frontman Steven Tyler started writing the song years before the band even existed, not knowing it would become a real song. Dream On not only became Aerosmith's first hit but also launched them into fame and fortune. The song also showcased Tyler's unique voice. When they first played Dream On, they only earned a bottle of gin, $175, and a bad case of crabs. But thanks to the song, they've come a long way. Tyler's father, a musician, played the piano while Tyler listened, which is where he got the cordage for Dream On. The luck that brought Aerosmith to the big time came in the form of a suitcase full of, most likely, drug money. Tyler used the money to buy an RMI keyboard, and played dumb when tough characters came around asking about the briefcase. Aerosmith's first album failed to gain traction due to lack of promotion from Columbia Records, but the band's management team convinced the studio to release Dream On as a single, giving Aerosmith new life. Joe Perry initially had mixed feelings about Dream On due to its ballad nature, but recognized its potential and included it in their setlist. The song marked the first time Steven Tyler used his true voice on an Aerosmith album, as he had previously been insecure about his voice on tape. The live debut of the song took place at the Shabu Inn in Connecticut in November of 1974, where they only earned a bottle of gin and $175. Additionally, the gig ended with a bad case of crabs for Perry and Tyler after bringing two ladies back to their shared bed. <laughs> 